Guten Abend, sehr geehrte Damen und Herren. Good evening, dear ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to KTV. A few politicians of the EU and the USA are preparing the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, or short TTIP, behind closed doors with approximately 600 consultants from large corporations. TTIP will take effect in 2015. The goal is the establishment of a transatlantic free trade zone, which means the removal and assimilation of rules for all areas of economic life. In plain English, this means that the one continent adapts to the other continent on the respectively lower level of regulations. Consumer protection and thus citizens fall by the wayside. The only winners are the corporations. What is being planned here for the people in Europe and the USA is very wide-ranging and has far-reaching consequences. Since you hear nothing of these planned contracts in the mass media, Klagemauer TV compensates for this lack of information. Here are some excerpts how we as citizens would directly be affected by this partnership. In US food, for instance, everything is allowed, as long as its harmfulness has not been proven. Prohibitions are issued only if damage has already occurred, that is, when the damage has been done. In Europe, however, the mere suspicion of damage justifies a ban. The alignment would drop the European standard to the American standard. A new supranational legal order gives big corporations the option to pursue their claims in case of loss of expected profits. For example, if governments down to the state and municipal governments protest against the import of products or exploitation of raw materials or press charges, they can therefore be sued for damages. The hearing will not take place in existing courts of law. Instead, 15 law firms who specialize in investment suits against states will form an arbitration court for resolving the dispute. In the end, three so-called judges decide whether a state impairs the expected profits of a company. These judges are very often employees of firms that work for the corporations. Courts meet undercover, excluding the public. Thus, nobody learns how the matters are being discussed. Examples of import possibilities are chicken treated with chlorine and disinfectants and pork produced with growth hormones. This includes the growth hormone rectopamine that is banned in 160 countries, which this way ends up in our food without food labeling and finally on our plates. The sale of GMO products in European supermarkets can be enforced because their ban would hinder the free trade. Likewise, many other labeling requirements will be repealed in the food industry. A small-scale European agriculture cannot keep pace with the agro-industrial approach in North America. The market niche of regionally sold goods and small businesses are overwhelmed by the large dollar-earning corporations. It further includes the privatization of the water supply, because free trade also includes a purchasable infrastructure for investors. It thus acts well into the economic, regional land use and spatial planning, water conservation and forest utilization, public contracts and raw material exploitation. It then could force cities and regions to allow fracking, which is yet partially banned in Europe. Fracking means deep drilling for natural gas production, resulting in pollution and contamination of the environment and water. Politically, the transatlantic partnership cannot be cancelled, neither by election nor by a change of government or protests. It could only be invalidated by a unanimous decision of all political parties, which does not materialize in practice and violates all the rules of democracy. Dear viewers, these are just a few excerpts from the contents of this transatlantic partnership and what it means for us as consumers. In summary, 
One can say that the transatlantic trade and investment partnership is structured in a way that it is neither politically nor legally contestable or dismissible. This lets the few elite of finance, corporations and politics exercise an economic control over the entire population of the United States and Europe. Similar agreements have also been negotiated between other countries as well, such as the TPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership, NAFTA, North Atlantic Free Trade Area or the CETA between EU and Canada, where countries are already financially sued by the corporations. In a democracy, the people are the sovereign. Therefore, the solution can only come from the people. This is done first through information and enlightenment. So, recommend us and stay tuned to enlighten yourself and others. If you want to become active in this matter and would like to enforce your counter voice, you can do so on May the 17th during the Action Day of the German movement Mehr Demokratie or More Democracy. For more information where it's going to take place, visit www.mehr-demokratie.de and click Aktionen. Goodbye for today.